Hi, everybody. It is January 10, 2019. I have to do this. I'm going to be showing you an awful lot of articles that I had on my hard drive for many, many years. These articles reveal that the IPCC from the start has been a fraudulent panel of, well, they call themselves sci scientists. They're really policy uh, they produce reports, summaries on climate change for governments so that those governments can institute policies because climate change, global warming is real and we've got to take urgent action. It's also the basis of the United Nations Agenda 2030, the United Nations transforming the world into a global socialist communist dictatorship on steroids, corporate fascism. And if we cannot get through to people that this is a lie, if they won't even consider, consider the information that we have been trying to give them, trying to get them to take a look at, then more and more people will go over the financial cliff and that is going to be happening more rapidly. It is my estimation that the next two years, we will see profound, radical changes, and they're not going to be good, but radical changes in this country that will destroy an awful lot of people, which includes many of you, many of you. And I'm going to, in, in other videos like part two or part three, show you how Agenda 2030 is operating in full force in this country. It's operating all over the world. I'm concentrating on the United States well because I'm an American, but it's operating in full force. This climate change lie, because so many people believe it, and mayors around the country and governors have implemented the Paris Agreement. That is ongoing, but the effects on the ordinary American individual, every single day, more and more Americans are feeling the squeeze of communism. And while I did get some comments from people who were saying, you know, old news, who cares? This is, you know, we know that this is going on. Um, 5G is the danger. Look, I've posted enough videos on 5G, um, but this climate change thing, it's still going on. And if we cannot get through to people that the IPCC is the panel for the United Nations to release all of the lies to get people to believe, oh my God, climate change, global warming, it's real. And you know what now? Uh, oh boy have they um, really closed the window an awful lot. They now claiming that by 2030, if we don't take action by 2030, it's all over. Wow. Well, that's only, uh, what, in 11 years? It's all over in 11 years? All right. You know, the sixth assessment of the IPCC. In the video that I posted last night, I showed this, uh, and I'm not going to go into it, just... Uh, Every assessment coming out of the IPCC has been thoroughly uh, examined by the real consensus of scientists, which is the consensus of scientists who dispute that man is causing global warming and climate change. And I will show you that uh, that has been going on for years and years. You do the research on you know, critiques of the IPCC, and you will see that what I'm going to show you is a mere fraction of all of the information on the IPCC. But why? Why is it that the IPCC is still, is still the go-to uh, experts on climate change when they're lying repeatedly because mainstream media is the propaganda arm of the United Nations, of governments, they are controlled by six corporations. Oh, and the corporate takeover into corporate fascism. Yeah, those six corporations 
have reporters who tell you lies because corporations are all about profit and they want slaves to create that profit. And boy, are we heading. We've been heading in that direction for decades, but now, oh, the speed, well, put your seatbelt on. But uh, this latest assessment of the IPCC, here's a critique of it, uh, sloppy, can't be taken seriously, very careless, amateur, about the standard of a first-year university student. Uh, it had large gaps where there is no data and where instead averages were calculated from next to no information. Um, they were stating that temperatures over land in the southern hemisphere, uh, well, it wasn't the southern hemisphere, it was just one site in Indonesia, almost no quality control, misspelled country names, mythology, inconsistent sea measurements supposedly from ships but mistakenly logged up to 50 miles inland? Are you kidding me? And this is what the world's government, this is the report along with our national assessment on climate change. These are the reports that governments are using. Governments have had 25 years to check the data on which they've been spending billions of dollars on your tax dollars. They're spending your money to implement agendas coming from the United Nations. And it's all based on a lie. Uh, the governments haven't done once. Well, they've had congressional hearings. We've had hearings with climatologists, with professors of climatology, with um, meteorologists, with state climatologists, with so many scientists, congressional hearings. They saying the IPCC is coming out with data, well, these are my words, that's laughable. Um, you know, it's all based on computer models and the computer models themselves have been found to be wrong. Wrong. So why are governments, why are governments, when they know the IPCC is really just, well, that's what they claim the consensus is, right? Obama says 97%, 90%, 90, 97%. Of the world, scientists agree that man is causing global change. You are getting so lied to, my God. It is so gross. It is so obvious, though. That's what's scary. That is what is scary. It is obvious that you are being lied to because the consensus, you want to see the consensus? It's made up of about 52 science, sciences, scientists, sorry, from the U. United Nations Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change. That's the consensus. 52. When we've had 31,487, and there's more because this, this was uh, several years ago, there are more who have signed the Global Warming Petition Project, which is all the scientists and you can, you can read their qualifications, um, they're disputing this man-made global warming theory. Not only do we have 31,487 plus, we've got more than 1,000 international scientists dissent over man-made global warming claims. Now this petition, this petition, it was started by Frederick Seitz, past president of the National Academy of Sciences, who withdrew his membership because the National Academy of Sciences were going along with the fraudulent science coming out of the IPCC. Now, a lot of people have in mind that um, they can't quite grasp the global nature of all of this how huge it is. What are you talking about, the transformation of the entire planet? Well, 
when you do the digging, when you do the research, you will see that out of the United Nations, you have so many NGOs and organizations and corporations and uh, individuals and so many groups like 350.org and um, you've got the Rockefellers funding an awful lot of these groups. The elite, those with a wealth that we can't even comprehend and the power they want to transform the planet for their own pleasure. Hard for an ordinary person to grasp that, but it's true. And hard for an ordinary person to understand how people could lie and lie and lie and lie. Now, I think an awful lot of people, first of all, they base their worldview on their own experience. They base their opinions about the world's people based on who they are. Yes, they understand that there are crazy people. They watch those crazy people being reported about on mainstream media. Oh, the murderers and just these uh, crazy people. But they think that the majority of the world's people are kind of like them. You know, they're good and decent. That couldn't be further from the truth. The scientists on the IPCC panel, they have an agenda and they have a pocketbook and they love their pockets to be filled with money. It's so easy to buy people and we've got an awful lot of those mainstream media reporters easily bought off. Oh, I get to live, you know, this uh, luxurious or um, very comfortable life. And all I have to do is read a script. Hey, I'll do it. Um, and scientists. God, I wish people would just do the research to get, you know, what's happening here. But Frederick Seitz, and now he has passed away. But what did he write? The United States is very close to adopting an international agreement that would ration the use of energy and of technologies that depend upon coal, oil, and natural gas, and some other organic compounds. We know that this continues. Even though this was years ago, that's exactly... Well, do you know about the Green New Deal coming out of that crazy... What is her name? Oscasio Ortez or something? Oh, God, I can't even... Look, it's that we have more crazies that we haven't been able to get out the crazies in Congress and we've just brought in more. Wow, it's frightening. But I'm going to go into the Green New Deal in another video. They are reshaping the world. Um, the treaty is, in our opinion, based on flawed ideas. Research data on climate change do not show that human use of hydrocarbons is harmful. To the contrary, there is good evidence that increased atmospheric carbon dioxide is environmentally helpful. Uh, and he started this petition to, hey, there's not a consensus. <laughs> there, whoa, uh, awful lot of scientists do not agree with those scientists who are claiming Oh, the science is settled. Man is causing global warming. There are far more scientists who, well, because they don't get to have a voice on mainstream media. All you hear about and hear from are the scientists who are lying to you. On the gargantuan lie of climate change science, an incisive critique of the dominant climate change science narrative. This has been going on year after year, and I cannot stand that this lie continues. It continues, it continues, despite the mountains of evidence to the contrary. 
they still get to carry the day with this lie. And this lie is the basis that is of Agenda 2030, the transformation of the world into, well, some have likened it to that great leap forward, you know, that killed millions and millions of people in China. If you don't know anything about that, do the research. Oh, great leap forward into a communism on steroids. And it's all coming from this. Climate change, this is the worst scientific scandal of our generation. Our hopelessly compromised scientific establishment cannot be allowed to get away with the climate gate whitewash. And, you know, that reminds me. So that climate gate, remember all of the emails that were linked, and this was the Hadley Center and the IPCC Michael Mann, who unbelievably is still now, Michael Mann somehow, well, he was found to be just a joke, a liar. Um, should, we, we should never hear from Michael Mann again. Oh, he's back. He's propped up. Amy Goodman, Democracy Now!, Michael Mann. What did Michael Mann have to say about that climate change, you know, all of the science? As we all know, this isn't about truth at all. It's about plausibly deniable accusations. Wow. It's not about truth. And then you had another guy. These emails were leaked, linked um, there at the Hadley Center. Um, my God, the data doesn't matter. We're not basing our recommendations on the data. We're basing them on the climate models. The data doesn't matter. Oh, the climate models. The models that you create. Here, another one. As you know, I'm not political. If anything, I would like to see the climate change happen so that so the science could be proved right. <laughs> I'd like to see the climate change happen so science will be proved right, regardless of the consequences. Oh, my God. This isn't being political. It is being selfish. Another guy. Kevin and I will keep skeptic papers out of IPCC somehow. Yes, we will keep those papers from real scientists who are not going along with the agenda. We'll keep them out. Here, even if we have to redefine what peer review literature is, these are not scientists. These are evil sellouts who are working for the United Nations to help them transform this world into something that nobody will ever, ever want to live. So, uh, United Nations panel, glacier warning is criticized as exaggerated, much publicized estimate from the United Nations panel about the rapid melting of the Himalaya glaciers from climate change is coming under fire as a gross exaggeration. Now understand this, they have the technology, they have the aerosol spraying, well, let's see, black carbon dust. Black carbon dust is one of the substances that they use to modify the weather and to cause rapid heating of the atmosphere to give you that heat wave to make you think, oh my God, global warming really is real. But they can spray black carbon dust on ice caps and make them melt. Wow, uh, it's a very convoluted, lying world that we are living in, and very hard, you know, to um, kind of, well, 
bring all of the pieces together and and then try to communicate them back to people who have no idea what's going on. But open letter to IPCC on geoengineering. Wow, okay, this was 2011. The IPCC decided to have a workshop and a panel of geoengineering. Let's think about geoengineering. Let's think about experiments that have been ongoing for decades, but only increasing in the amount of aerosols they're spraying in the atmosphere, but increasing all over the planet. All right, so the IPCC uh, invites the geoengineering scientists, but does not want anybody who is opposed to geoengineering, certainly not anybody who has done the research to find out that geoengineering might be very dangerous. No, we're going to shut the door to them. So they wrote an open letter to IPCC on geoengineering, and well, what did they have to say? Geoengineering, the intentional large-scale manipulation of the Earth's systems to modify the climate is one of the most serious issues the international community will face in the decades ahead. Modifying the Earth's radiated balance, devising new carbon sinks in fragile ecosystems, redirecting hurricanes and other extreme weather events are alarming. The potential for accidents, dangerous experiments, inadequate risk assessment, unexpected consequences are great. So, the scientific steering group of this expert meeting includes well-known geoengineering advocates who have called for steep increases in funding for research and for proceeding with experimentation, as well as scientists who have patents pending on geoengineering technologies and, and or other financial interests. Asking a group of geoengineer, geoengineering scientists if more research should be done on the topic is like asking a group of hungry bears, hey, you want some honey? Their predictable answer should be viewed with skepticism. At the same time, independent organizations which have devoted years of critical research to geoengineering are not allowed to participate, even as observers. You close the door to all of us, so we're writing you this open letter. And how many organizations? How many? A lot. A whole lot. Did the IPCC listen to them? Did they give them a seat at the table? Were they interested in their voice? Not at all, because the IPCC is not about science. It is about an agenda and pushing it on all governments around the world. No need to panic about global warming. There's no compelling scientific argument for drastic action to decarbonize the world's economy. The following has been signed by the 16 scientists listed at the end of the article. The oft-repeated claim that nearly all scientists demand that something dramatic be done to stop global warming is not true. Is not true. In fact, a large and growing number of distinguished scientists and engineers do not agree that drastic actions on global warming are needed. Nobel Prize winning physicist resigns over global warming. Uh, another climate alarmist admits real motive behind warming scare. And guess what? Who was this? Happened to have been a man, his last name, Edenhofer, who co chaired the United Nations Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change from 2008 to 2015. What did he have to say? We have been told now for almost three decades that man has to change his ways or his fossil fuel emissions will scorch Earth with catastrophic warming. The narrative is a ruse. If they were honest, the climate alarmists would admit that they are not working feverishly to hold down global temperatures. They would acknowledge that they are instead consumed with the goal of holding down capitalism and establishing a global welfare state. Exactamundo. <laughs> exactly. This was a guy who co-chaired the IPCC and got what they were doing. 
It's not about science. It's about transforming the world where you all will be slaves of a one world government, slaves of corporate, uh, and you might not even have a job. Actually, many of you won't because your children, your children will not have a job. The Green New Deal that the Democrats are now getting a lot of traction on, you'll have a basic income. See, they want to cure poverty. That's the United Nations goal. You know, those sustainable goals. There are, what, 17 of them, I think, um, under Agenda 2030. One of the goals is to reduce and, and uh, eliminate poverty. How are they going to do that? To bring everybody's standard of living down. You'll have a basic income, and you will have a life that nobody, nobody should ever have to live. Nobody deserves. Um, you will be ruled. Every aspect of your life will be controlled by those who are working for the state. Yeah. So, if they were honest, <laughs> one has to free oneself from the illusion that international climate policy is environmental policy. This has almost nothing to do with the environmental policy, with problems such as deforestation or the ozone hole. Former NOAA scientists confirm colleagues manipulated climate records. Congress knows this. They know it. They've heard from the professors and the scientists and, and the NOAA uh, employees that all of the science coming out of the IPCC, NOAA, it's all manipulated to get you to believe that climate change is real and that we've got to then transform the world get those smart cities, those sustainable cities, and tax you up the wazoo as they continue to transform the world. Oh boy, why do you think France has a yellow vest protest? Because Macron, well, he was about to hand over the sovereignty of, of France. And uh, he was implementing those taxes on the French. And they said, to hell with it, We're, we, we don't, this is not what we want. Many are fighting. Uh, IPC admits that climate models fail. This is a professor, a physics professor. Scientists admit global warming is a hoax. Uh, scientists admit IPCC used fake data to pressure policymakers. IPCC is now damaged goods, mind-boggling fraud. I knew data hadn't been verified. Climate change science implodes as IPCC. Climate models bound to be totally wrong. Temperatures aren't rising as predicted. Hopes unraveling. Uh, IPC report under fire. It's not science. Um, how many? I mean, my God, this is years and years and years and years. And the lie continues to carry the day. And this should not be. The IPCC's latest report deliberately excludes and misrepresents important climate science. It doesn't matter what report it is, this one's the fifth, but you go back to the first, second, third, fourth, jump the fifth, go to the sixth, they're all the same. All of them are just, well, as one scientist said, the only thing worthy of this IPPC report is the nearest, nearest trash bin. bin. Sorry, Fundamental flaws debase IPCC's fifth assessment. Seems more intent on trying to maintain the now dying consensus than in following climate science to its logical conclusion, a conclusion that increasingly suggests that human greenhouse gas emissions are less important in driving climate change than commonly held. 
Band-Aids can't fix the new IPCC report. Humpty Dumpty-esque report. And all the government scientists and all the government's men cannot put the IPCC report back together again. It's laughed at. It's a joke. But you know how dangerous it is when you have a mainstream media only reporting that this is where you get your consensus from. Uh, first, I showed you that it was 52 scientists that made up the world's scientists. Yeah, 97% of scientists around the world. That you heard from your lovely, psychopathic, narcissistic, crazy President Obama. A lie. Abject. Lie. But when you only have mainstream media letting you hear from those scientists on the IPCC or the National Assessment, or those scientists that have sold out, because where do they get their funding from? The government. And the government has an agenda. So, that's... It's their money, their livelihood. They can lie outright, know it, or, well, you got the human being who just so deludes themselves, you know, the self-deception that they're not even aware of. They just continue living an abject lie, living a comfortable life while they live that lie. We all know that that happens. So, you know, when you're only presenting those kinds of scientists on mainstream media, it's not surprising that so many people believe that there really is a consensus. If they would just look into all of the scientists who are so not about this climate change, global warming hysteria, this official narrative, that does carry the day, they would see, oh my God, none of it is real. Long-term predictions of future climate states is not possible. Climate change science implodes as IPCC climate models found to be totally wrong. Temperatures aren't rising as predicted. Hoax about uh, unraveling failed pro prognostications of climate alarm. If the current pace of the buildup of these gases continues, the effect is likely to be warming of 3 to 9 degrees Fahrenheit. Abject lie. The latest report deliberately excludes and misrepresents important climate science. The whistleblowers, now it's safe for the whistleblowers to, re to speak out on the corrupted climate science? No, it's not safe. Sorry because they're still being smeared, destroyed, their careers destroyed. The greatest scientific fraud of the century will be laid bare, along with its corrupt enablers in government, academia, industry, and the media. Well, I'd love to see that happen, but I'm afraid it's not going to come in my lifetime. How to spot a climate fraud? The trouble with mainstream climate scientists is that they're third-rate scientists. And the reason they're third-rate is that they're dishonest. 100% predictable fraud with or from government climate scientists. And these are not conspiracy theory uh, articles, you know. These are not from conspiracy theorist websites. These are from websites started by scientists. These are from mainstream media websites leaked climate change email scientists had data flaws. Yell. Major change is needed if the IPCC hopes to survive. This was in uh, what 2010. And guess what? None of the changes were made because they know they don't have to. Because the world people just go along with the lies, accept them as the truth, and then they smear all of the people in their life as crazy conspiracy theorists when they're trying to tell them the truth, or they just simply don't care. They know, they know the psyche of the world's people. So they can produce the sixth assessment with, you know, not even being able to spell country names right. 
they can produce a report that is like a, uh, you know, the first year, it's like a first year college paper, amateur, sloppy. They can have all of the very gross and obvious errors because they don't care anymore because, well, they have been successful. They know the world's people are not going to be listening to anything but the lie. So, yeah, IPCC has been deceiving the public about the carbon cycle from the start. Um, warning fraud. Global warming study filled with junk science. So, I just put this out there. Um, and you can take the information. And if you can do a better video, please, please, please uh, go for it. But this has been going on. Literally, well, this is 2000. It's now 2018. 18 years of lies, 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 lies. But the danger is what is coming to us. All of us. The global socialism, communism, where freedom, private property rights, individual rights, and opportunities will be gone. Gone. I'm not going to link below to all of the headlines because that was years and years ago. Many of <laughs> the articles might not, not even be um, accessible, easily accessible. They might have been hid by Google, but um, you can get them. Search the title of the articles. This is very important. The agendas are very important. Um, we can get caught up in all of the political craziness in Washington, D.C., and the wall, and all of that, but this continues to go on full speed ahead, and as I speak, more and more people are being taken out, and if you don't believe me, watch my next video.